Okay, hi. Uh, welcome to the final part of this tutorial, which is to export this mesh from 3D Studio Max to UDK. Um, I've only done one extra thing to the mesh since the previous tutorial, and that is to create these collision holes. Uh, basically, three of them uh, in this mesh. Uh, basically for UDK to interpret and I basically call them collision meshes so that user defined collision meshes and they are created in three parts due to the way that uh, collision meshes are constructed in UDK uh, you cannot have any convex or concave um, surfaces so that's probably the only thing that's different from the tutorial the palm tree is exactly the same okay so let's get this out into UDK so this is a really simple process. You basically just select your entire mesh, go up and look for export options, export selected. We'll go straight to the export folder. So we'll call this palm tree 01. Hit save. Now we get a dialog that comes up and we need to check a couple of check boxes before continuing. One is under geometry, we need to export the smoothing groups out with this object. We also need to, under embed media, although it's not 100% necessary, but this is absolutely great when it, it comes to sending uh, your textures with the file, is to embed the media. So what that will do is it will package it all up, mesh and textures in one FBX file. Once that's selected, hit OK. We get a warning here just click OK and let's go to UDK alright I've got a predefined map here but first we're going to do is import this new mesh palm tree into the game so right clicking anywhere in the display here under the content browser look oh, you probably can't see it because it's not big enough but, but there's an import option at the top I can't quite show it to you, but there is an import dialog which will launch the import uh, part of the uh, dialog here and you browse for wherever the export ended up going. For me, into the export directory under my 3ds Max project, I have my palm tree 01 FBX. Alright, so it's exporting into my level, my package test levels. I'm going to put it into a group called Foliage. and I'm going to call it palm tree 01 going down through some of the features general everything is set up ok here skeletal mesh is fine since there isn't any skeletal meshes in this import um, under static meshes make sure you switch on explicit, explicit normals so it actually reads out the normals that we have exported with the mesh and also under materials make sure import materials is checked this will read out any embedded materials in our FBX file. OK, just click OK. Alright, so it should bring in our palm tree. And here it is. So let's double click our palm tree. At which point we'll get this window here with our palm tree. Basically it looks pretty good, except for the transparency not working at this stage. We can switch on the uh, show collision option here and you can see how our three collision convex shapes have come in for us. Okay, so we need to go have a look to see what happened to the material. There's a couple ways we can do that. One is to get this out of the way and go look for our material under materials, which you'll see it here. Double click it. And essentially, it's already set up for us with uh, UDK. I just need to connect up the alpha channel to the opacity. And down here, I need to change this blending modes to masked. Awesome, it didn't even work. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's got to go into opacity mask. All right break that link to opacity. 
Okay, so it is an opacity mask we're working with. Okay, it's still a single sided material, but we have the option for a two sided checkbox here. So I'll whack that on. So we get a nice two sided. I might just cook up my green uh, output into the speculator, give it a nice bit of a specular green look. And that should pretty much do it. So I'm not dealing with any normal maps at this stage. This is just a very basic tutorial how to get things in and out to via FBX. So you close that window, it'll ask you to save the changes, which you will want to of course. And bring it up and model now. It's done to look pretty sweet. If you hold down L on the keyboard, you can move the light source around and have a bit of a play. But apart from that, this is the result we're looking for. Alright, so without further ado, we should get into the game. Before I go ahead, I might just save out a little thumbnail. This is just how it appears in the content browser. So you'll see it as such, but I'll save as. And making sure I have my new static mesh selected. Let's go ahead and put some in the world here. So I might just put one here. Right click and put our little palm tree in. Now the scale might be a little bit funky, but first we're just going to drop a couple of these around. So I'm just going to hold down spacebar to get the move tool. And I'm just going to hold down control, oops, sorry, alt to drag out a couple of copies. And I might just scale one of these up. Alright, so I've got a few palm trees. Let's just drag one more out for the hell of it. Let's scale that one up a bit more. Okay, and just see if it's in the ground. You can also rotate it to get a little bit more of a different look and feel to it, of course. But essentially, that's the idea. So, just going to rebuild all my lighting. I'm using dynamic lights in this scene. Cascaded shadow map set to I have forced off um, <clears throat> the light baking, so I'm going to for a full real time environment here. So I'll save that off and I'll hit play. Let's go have a look. All right, they are very small, but they do look quite good. So one of the things, of course, when you are modeling for UDK or any other game packages, get in the scale, kind of right. But depending on what you want to do, I mean, essentially, these could be very small palm trees. So in any case, scaling can be done quite efficiently with static meshes. So there's not really any drama in doing so. So just drag one of those out like so, and one more, why not, and give it a bit of a rotate around, there we go, so it looks different. Alright, and rebuild. Save and play. And I got some nice uh, light shafts going in there in my in scattering blue sky. So, yeah, it's quite easy to do this. And they look pretty nice. Collision's working? Yep. Brilliant. Alright, so that's basically a tutorial on how to export something from um, 3ds Max into UDK. Thank you very much.